Hi everyone, my name is Mike Fram. I'm the principal at Repertory Company High School for Theater Arts, and I want to thank you for your interest in repertory. We look forward to getting to know you and leading you through this very unusual admissions cycle this year. I wanted to take a moment to tell you a little bit about me and where I come from, because it informs so much of what repertory is about. It is a very small school. It is a school that I have been at for my entire career and it inevitably feels a lot like me. So I think it's important that parents know where I'm coming from. So my journey started in Brookline, Massachusetts, a small affluent suburb of Boston, um, where I just loved high school. I loved my classes, I loved going to school, I loved my friends, I loved playing soccer, I loved being in the choir and I just had a wonderful experience. And it's probably part of the reason I decided to spend the rest of my life in high school. One of the things that I didn't realize uh, quite as much while I was in school was just how insular and sheltered my experience had been. Among other things, the only students of color I had the chance to meet and to get to know would have been students who were bused there from other communities, mostly in the urban areas of, of Boston. That limited my, my experience in high school and caused me not to have the breadth of understanding that I, I otherwise might have. So when I graduated, I started to realize I wanted to see more, um, and uh, I moved to New York City to go to college at NYU. And it was there that I really started to meet people with lived experiences very different from my own. And it started to change me as a person. Um, I spent my time there making music. Um, I was a music major, uh, composition, and I knew that that's what I wanted to do with my life, but I wasn't quite sure I wanted to do what I wanted to do with it. Um, the other love I had in college was music directing my college a cappella group. Um, which was a huge part of my life, formed many of my social networks that continue to this day. Um, it's where I met my wife. Um, it is a pretty, a pretty ridiculous story of, of dorky musicianship. But I loved it. I loved arranging, I loved teaching, um, and I started to realize as I approached graduation that that love was, was, was real and that there was a career to be made in teaching music. So I became a music teacher and I was lucky enough to get the dream job at my first job fair, a performing arts high school in the heart of Times Square. Um, and they were looking for a musical theater teacher, um, which I didn't know all that much about, but I said, sure, I can figure that out, I can do that. And I became the music, uh, musical theater and, and choir teacher here at Repertory in 2007. What I really wanted to do was not so much teach music, but just to teach. I wanted to educate. I wanted to be part of a school and part of a child's educational journey. As luck would have it, an opportunity came up for me to become the assistant principal here at Repertory. I was recommended for a leadership program by a previous principal um, and was able to match up that timing with an opening at the assistant principal level here at Rep um, and was able to stay here in my home continuing to teach music um, for a few periods a day, but also helping to uh, put together an arts and academic program that raised expectations for our students, that brought in our first slate of AP classes, that developed our advanced arts classes, that um, created and expanded programs and partnerships with institutions throughout New York City. And then, after a few years as assistant principal, in the 2015-2016 school year, um, my life changed um, in, ma in many ways. I had my son, Miles, who was born in June of 2015. And then in 2016, um, the principal here at Repertory was asked to take over another school, um, and um, the superintendent um, asked me if I would take over as principal. And so suddenly, I had this entirely new perspective on the world, and I could start to really ask myself, is this school a place that I would send my own child? And that completely changed how I thought about repertory and what I was able to do here. One of the things that came out of that reflection is our mission. And our mission statement is not something that just sits on our website and checks a box for people to 
C for superintendents to read. It's truly the values that we live by. You'll notice in our mission that we talk about a lot of the pillars of what we're about here at Repertory. I want to draw your attention to the word inclusiveness. Inclusiveness is in there very strategically and specifically and intentionally. And another word, another sort of buzzword that you may hear in school missions and visions uh, is not, and that word is diversity. That doesn't mean that we don't value diversity here at Repertory, we certainly do. Diversity is a wonderful thing and you can't have true inclusiveness until you have diversity. But diversity by itself is not enough. We live in New York City. You can go to Times Square subway station and see diversity standing there in front of you. Stand there for two minutes and you'll see every walk of life walk by. But that's all they're doing. They're walking by, brushing past each other, not exchanging, not acknowledging, not engaging. And so at Repertory, our goal is to capture and capitalize on the diversity that we have in our truly diverse student body and actually ask them to engage with one another about the differences in their lived experiences. Ask them to present to each other their perspective on the world and ask them to truly listen to their colleagues and their classmates as they describe theirs. It's why we focus on diversity as an opportunity for inclusiveness, not just a statistic that looks good on a report. John Dewey said that education is not preparation for life, education is life itself. We all remember at some point someone telling us in school, you know, that's not gonna fly in the real world. What you're doing right now, that's not gonna work out there in the real world. Our perspective at Repertory is that this is your real world. And that is in line with how we operate as a school. We don't believe that we are preparing you for some world out there that is perfect, that is set up for you to slide right in. If it were perfect, we would do that. We would try to mold you and teach you everything you need to fit into that world. But we are not preparing you to fit into that world. We are preparing you to change it, to make it more like what you imagine it could be. Once again, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, for your interest in repertory, and we look forward to getting to know you over the course of this year. Please don't hesitate to reach out by email if we can answer any questions about our admissions process, auditions, or anything else. Take care and see you soon.